P launcher is one of the more popular Minecraft launchers that you can come around and it also helps you install mods and skins as well. But it doesn't always work as expected. My name is Adullah. You're watching Gandero Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix encoding errors with P launcher. So there are a uh, couple of things you can do when you're running into encoding uh, problems or encoding packet fix problems. The number one uh, is going to be uh, checking your username and re-adding your account if it's not set properly. For example, as you can see, my username is at the moment set correctly. But if I click on this and head over to configure accounts, if your username for whatever reason is not set correctly in T-Launcher, you are going to run into problems. Now, um, I wouldn't recommend authorizing at tlauncher.org because that tends to be problematic in my case. So the best option is uh, to remove your current account, click on add authorization at microsoft.com and then click on authentication via browser. What this does is that it lets you log into your Microsoft account inside of your browser and then tlauncher can use that authentication to add your account to tlauncher and hence uh, get the right username and uh, the right credentials for your particular account which can help fix the problem the next thing to do is to simply check your internet connection to see if it's working as expected now you can do this um, by simply firing up your web browser and then running a speed test so as you can see i currently have uh, internet connectivity which seems to be working just fine you can also check your particular Minecraft uh, server's server status. So if you just Google Minecraft server status and uh, use something like mcstatus.io, you can just type in the link of your Minecraft server. It's going to be demo.mcstatus.io in this case. Make sure to change this URL with whatever server that you're playing on. And as you can see, the server is online and connected to the right port. Which brings me to the next part. Make sure that the corresponding port that your Minecraft installation is using to connect to a server is open. We've already done a video on how you can open and check open ports with Minecraft. So you can go check that out to help fix your problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.